The music news for the streets, the music news for your beats, the news for the music stuff that you gonna need. We gon' talk about plugins, we gon' talk about gear. If it's news on this music, we gon' talk about it here. Let's go. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. Here today to talk about something that I'm pretty excited for. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, IK Multimedia has just dropped their brand new Arc System 4. Um, so their Advanced Room Correction System 4 is definitely a game changer in my personal opinion. Um, what's the difference between the System 3 and System 4, you may ask? We actually got hardware for it now. Um, so this is pretty dope because what this allows for you to do is to actually run the room correction system standalone. So nowadays you don't even need to put it on your master track, um, which is different than any other room correction system out there, um, or at least that I've seen. Um, so with this, um, with the system, you are going to get um, the hardware right here. So it has analog circuitry in it. Um, basically what this thing is gonna do is it's gonna store the information from the ARC system in here. Um, and basically what you're gonna do is you're going to, on the back here, you're gonna run your out um, from your interface into here, and then you're gonna run this into your monitors, and it's going to do all the room correction for you. Um, so what they give you in the kit is they're going to give you the hardware, of course. Um, they're going to give you the microphone uh, right here, and this is what basically listens to the room and does the correction for you. Um, you're also going to get this holder right here so that you can put it on a mic stand so that you can put it down uh, because you're going to have to put it in different places in your room. I'm definitely gonna show you guys that here in this demonstration or this video today. Other things that are important in the package that you're gonna get are you're going to get this right here. I'm not gonna flash that up forever, um, but it has your um, serial number and everything for you to download the Arc System 4. And then if you're confused and you don't know what you're doing in the package, they're going to give you um, this, which basically tells you how to hook everything up. Um, being the person that I am, I just want to let you guys know that this thing right here, the, the connections on the back of this are all XLR. So when you look at it right here, you're going to see that there is no quarter inch connection on the back. I guess if there is one con for me, um, I would like to see them make it a combo jack. Uh, because a lot of people don't have XLR to quarter inch cables. Um, I do. Um, so basically the kind of cable you might need, not all monitors and not all interfaces are only quarter inch on the back. A lot of them are combo jacks and a lot of them are um, XLR too. But if you don't, you're going to need this cord right here. Um, this cord is going to be your XLR and it's gonna be to your quarter inch. Um, depending on your monitors, you might need a set of female and male. Obviously, if you have one of these systems, you should understand the difference between a female and a male cord. Um, but overall, it's pretty solid. Um, what's dope about this too is that like, let's say you got your computer hooked up and now you wanna go over to, to YouTube and watch something on YouTube. Well, the room correction system is going to automatically work because it's hooked up through your monitors, through your interface. So as soon as you switch to some other application, it's still gonna have the room correction going which is solid and that's not something that's in the other room correction systems. Um, you can also play music out of the DAW. So you don't need the actual application in the VST plugin form to use it. I know you guys may be looking at me and you're like, why is this dude got his NPC propped up in the back? Is he trying to flex? Definitely not a flex. I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know if you are somebody who uses standalone gear or standalone equipment, you can use the new ARC system in your standalone gear. So you'll be able to basically plug your speakers in, you know what I'm saying, through the back of your board. And now you can use room correction in standalone items, which is absolutely amazing. So whether you have something like an SP404, you'll be able to use the, the room correction by hooking it up to your line outs in the back. If you're using your synthesizers at the house, you'll be able to hook up your synthesizers through the back. You'll be able to hook up any piece of equipment or any piece of gear to this room correction software, and you'll be able to use it, which is solid. You'll also be able to, like, let's say um, you have an interface that runs independent of your computer. So I have a UA Volt right here, and it runs independent. As long as it's plugged in, it's going to work. So you can plug in your home theater system into your interface, hook it up to your TV, 
and now you have room correction for your whole entire house, um, which is absolutely solid. Um, if you guys don't know what it does, basically what it does is with this microphone right here, it listens to your room um, and it makes some sweeping noises, which I'll show you guys here in a moment. And it listens to the room and it corrects the EQ balance um, in the application. And then the application sends out the right information. So the new EQ curve to your speakers, and then it basically makes it sound like you have a professionally treated room. So if your room's not treated the greatest, even if you have good treatment, but the treatment you know, still is lacking, like maybe you don't have bass traps, or maybe you don't have a cloud above you or something like that, um, this is going to adjust for that in the speakers and make it sound so much better. Looking at the front of the panel, you'll notice that there is a red light that indicates power. Um, next to that, there is a green light that indicates signal slash clip. Um, and then all the way down at the end, there is a red light that is actually a button. Um, that's for your correction. And you can turn that on or off in standalone mode. So this thing has zero latency, um, ideal performance that suits your preference, deep control to fine tune your correction, customize your setup for ideal performance no matter your preference. Arc Studio offers deep control over each profile so it always sounds its best target curves. The system comes with nine factory tailored target curves suitable for most situations. The default curve offers optimally balanced results with flat and other specific curves for different needs or setups. Adjustable correction range. By default, ARC corrects the entire frequency spectrum, but you can define limits to both upper and lower correction ranges separately. And this is useful if you want to preserve the unique voicing of your monitors or just looking to correct certain frequency range variable resolution and smoothing adjust the resolution and correction filter to use more or fewer frequency bands depending on your room's unique sound this lets you achieve more surgical correction or a broader smoother balance it's got two phase modes natural and linear phase modes ensure precise stereo imaging natural mode improves the phase response while linear phase maintains the original inner channel phase response which may be preferable in certain rooms and conditions all right, guys, so now I want to show you guys basically how to get this to work. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take this mic and put it in a holder. I would recommend putting it in a mic stand to put it in all these locations. But obviously, since I'm just demoing it to you, um, this isn't a permanent location and I can't put the mic stand in all the places. I'm just going to hold it. Um, so you're going to plug the mic um, that they give you into an XLR, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys can figure out. Uh, so boom, we've got it plugged in there. And you got to make sure it's plugged into an interface or something that has phantom power um, that you can obviously link up to your computer. So an interface. Um, so boom, now I've turned on the 48 volt power um, on the interface. And so now we're going to hop into the ARC4 analysis. So they're going to give you two pieces of software with this. Um, so the first one that you're going to use is this ARC4 analysis. And basically, you're just going to follow all the steps. Um, so you're going to go ahead and push next. Um, you can use different kind of um, ARC microphones from different brands, um, and that's fine. Um, but obviously, we're going to use the MEMS one um, from IK Multimedia. Um, so what we're going to do is after that is we're going to hit next. Boom. So we've hit next. And then you're going to put your devices right here. So I've already got it set up. You can see here I've got it set up through the Universal Vault. Um, but, you know, you would just come in here and pick whatever interface it was. And once you pick it, it'll fill all this out for you. Um, and make sure you have a mic signal right here. And then once we push next, you can pick which kind of studio or which kind of listening environment that you're in. Um, so you I have a project studio right now because I'm just kind of working on a little desk. Um, so the speakers are really in, you know, hand range from me or arm's length. Um, but you can go from, you know, the monitoring position in a real studio, studio wide. If you have two people here, uh, you can go studio back area, which will allow the person sitting in front of the console and on the couch to listen. And then you also have like a movie theater area, which is fire. So you can set it up for, you know, the whole house or whatnot. So we're going to stick with Project Studio. We're going to go ahead and hit next right here. As we hit next, now we're into um, now we're into the actual listening to the microphone. All right. And so then you're just going to put it up next to your head. Push next. Push OK. And then push play test. And then you'll see it says done. So you're going to go ahead and go to the next position. Um, and so you can do an advanced mode or you can do quick mode. We're just going to go ahead and do quick mode because there's no need to do advanced mode just to show you guys. So I'm going to push next right here. 
Now, this is what I was talking about that I'm going to show you that there might be an issue with, and I just want to show you this. So um, you need to make sure you put it at ear level. Um, you know, you're just going to click through these prompts. And then the first one is just going to be in front of you like this. You're going to push capture point. And then once you push capture point, remember, we just heard those. Whomp. All right, so right here you see that, oops, something went wrong, we have an issue. Um, the reason why something might go wrong is if you don't have the microphone level up loud enough. Um, I didn't push this information button before, so I didn't know that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn the mic up um, so that it's louder. And then we're gonna do it again and you'll see once I push the capture point, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna get those. I'm gonna turn down the, the monitors just a little bit so that womp womp isn't so loud. All right, and so you see it captured that first one. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the next zone. The next zone is gonna be over here. Then the zone after that, it's gonna be over here. So we'll go ahead and capture point. And then the next one's gonna be by your ear. So we're gonna go ahead and capture the point. Next one's gonna be by the other ear. So we'll go ahead and capture the point. And we're going to come over here by like where our elbow would be if we were posted. So it's going to be the outside of the listening range, basically. So capture. And then we got the last point over here. All right, and so then after you capture all of the different points, uh, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna hit next again. It's gonna ask you to save. Um, you'll see here, um, you get all kinds of different emulations. So you can pick which kind of speaker it is that you're actually using. Um, and that will help with the EQ curve as well. I'm currently using a pair of IK Multimedia iLoud MTMs, which I absolutely love. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to pick the correction name on these. I already have some correction in here, but we'll just pick these as two. Um, and then we'll put save. And so then boom, once we put save, now we're done. And then we can quit. So once we quit the ARC4 analysis software, uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up just the regular ARC4 software. Um, so again, there's two different softwares. When we open up the regular ARC4, it is going to look like this. Um, so it's gonna take uh, the measurement that it just registered. And this is what it looks like, basically the EQ graph on that. Um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of the after here in a moment. And so um, before, this is what it looked like. So all the green is what the room looked like, the EQ. So you'll see here, um, it's got a bump in the mids. Um, it's got a dip over here in the highs. It's got a few dips over here in the low end. Um, but once it, you know what I'm saying, listened to everything and it figured out a curve for us, you'll see this is the EQ curve that it's going to give us. So this is a lot more accurate. I'm pretty close to being flat. I'm pretty close to being target. Um, so that's pretty solid as well. Um, and then with this, all you're going to do is basically turn on this correction and then it's going to make the correction work. Um, so that's pretty solid as well. You have other stuff that you can do in here too, which is cool. Um, so you can edit it. So you can come over here to edit and you can change the EQ curve to however you want. So if you want to give it a boost, you can boost the high end, you can boost the mid, you can boost all that stuff. We're not going to do that, but you can do that. Um, you can control which it goes to natural phase or linear phase, which is nice. 
Um, it'll change that for you too, um, so that's solid. You'll see if you come over here, um, you can change it from light mode to dark mode. We're gonna just leave it in dark mode. Um, and then what I forgot to mention is when you initially hook this up, it's going to automatically do a firmware for you, so it's gonna get you right. Um, down here at the bottom, you'll see um, you can do combined left, right, or you can separate them like it just did there. Go ahead and get rid of that edit screen. Um, you also have a target right here, so you can change the target to whatever it is that you want, whether it's flat, standard room control, lively room, lively room two, uh, control rooms, Dolby Atmos, solid, um, warm tilt, bright tilt, or you can set up custom, um, custom targets that you want to go to. Then over here, you have virtual monitoring. So this is another very solid feature in this um, software is that you can use different monitors. So you can see what it's going to sound like in an emulation of different monitors from Yamaha's to Focal's to, you know, different iLouds to just all kinds of different um, speakers. And so that you can just do a, a, a test um, to each one. So you know what I'm saying? You can basically do a car test or they have like bookshelf, they have coaxial, they have floor standing, a TV, portable speakers, smartphones. So they don't have a car. But what I meant by car test is that in essence, using your monitors, you can see what it's gonna sound like in different systems. And that's something solid that you can't beat. So when the correction's off, you're not gonna see any of the metering over here. Um, with the metering, you do have post and you have pre, so you can look at what it's doing post or pre. Um, which is solid. And then I also just wanted to make sure I showed you guys all the different speaker models. Um, so here are all the different speaker models that you're gonna get. You're gonna get everything from KRKs to Yamahas to basically whatever it is that you need um, to monitor. If it's something that you're used to in your studios or studios that you used in the past, you can pull any of these up to use as well. So what are my final thoughts on the ARC System 4? Uh, well, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, being 1,000% honest, I absolutely love this thing. Um, I've had it here for about two weeks now, and I have been using this thing nonstop. Um, it's something that I see myself using on every single mix from here on out. Um, I've mixed a few tracks. I feel like the mixes have come out more transferable to different places, from regular headphones to Bluetooth headphones to a car to a house speaker to monitors to whatever it is that I'm using. Um, the initial price on this thing is going to be $299, um, but I believe like other correction systems are somewhere between $150 to $250. So considering you're going to get the box, the analog box that's got solid 80 conversion, um, it's something that I would recommend to anybody who's making any kind of music, especially if you're mixing music at home um, and your house isn't necessarily treated the greatest. Or even if you're in a studio and you've noticed that the treatment isn't the greatest in there, um, it's something that I would definitely recommend because all it can do is make your mixes better. I will say this disclaimer right here though, um, just adding this on to um, your chain is not gonna make your mix better. So you're still gonna have to use your ears. You're still gonna have to make smart mixing decisions. Um, this isn't a tool that's going to fix things. This is a tool that's going to allow you to hear sounds better in your environment. Um, and it's going to allow you to make better mixing decisions. So um, that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.